Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn about raster attribute table in QGIS. So initially uh, QGIS doesn't have an option to open the attribute table of any raster file. But presently we have a tool, a plugin through which we can open an attribute table of a raster file. So first of all this is our diff file that is a raster data set. And you can see there is no other supporting file like DBF or CSV. So we are going to open this file in our QGIS environment. So this is our raster data set and it is a classifier raster. So we will change the symbology and change it to unique color platelet values so that all the class can be displaced distinguishly. So these are all the classes like one, three other numbers. So we can see that there is no open attribute table option are coming when we are right clicking on this raster. And in order to show the raster attribute table, we first of all install the plugin. We will go to plugin, manage plugin. Uh, make sure you should have an active internet connection. And as this is an experimental plugin, so we should activate this option of show also experimental plugin by going on settings. Then we will go on search and search it for raster attribute table. So this is the plugin. We will install it. So our plugin has been installed. And we can check by clicking on plugin. So this is our plugin. And now when we right click on the soil map, we can check that there is an options coming that is new attribute table. So we will just click on it. Now it is asking to prepare the attribute table either in JDAL XML or where dbf dbf is nothing but the same format for shape file so we'll click on dbf and we can open up a rest of it attributable right clicking on it and open the attribute table so this is our attribute table in which columns represent different values and this is our main column which represents the class value of the raster Now in the folder we can also see that there is a file .dbf has also come up. So as I told you that this dbf is the same as the dbf in the vector file. So if you want to change any date, uh, change anything, so we will just click on an element and click on edit attribute table. And through these options we can create or delete any column. So we will just create any column like class name and it will be an integer oh, sorry it will be a string so we'll just provide the class name or you can add any other object or any the information related to this so we will just give a random names like a, maybe a water body it can be a forest or any other information which you like to keep on with the class name So after giving some values, uh, there is a new column put in class name and when we click on this classification tab, we can see this, there is another option has come up, this class name. That means then we can reclassify this raster according to this column. And in the layer tab, we can see only six classes are there, water, forest, vegetation and 414. So all the classes that we have uh, given the name has been classified into separate class and all other classes have been given to the a common class that is 414. So this is a very shortest method to reclassify any raster in the QGIS. So we will get back to our original classes. And when you click on OK, so it is asking to save it. Just like in any edit uh, mode. So we can save it in the top menu bar. There is a save button. And if we open this DBF file in 
Excel or any other spreadsheet software. So we can see all the attribute that can be seen in the QGIS can be seen in the spreadsheet also. So I'll just re uh, reduce the column size because by default it has become very big. So this is uh, this was our table. All the columns that are, can be displayed in the QGIS can be displayed in the Excel or spreadsheet. So that's it for the day guys. Please do comment if you find any problem. Please like and share this video and subscribe to the channel for more GIS and remote sensing related videos. Thank you.